Hey guys, today I'm gonna show you some unique ways you can make dark guitar beats all from scratch. So we're gonna make the sample together and then we'll also slap on some drums at the end. So I'm not gonna waste any more time since I know a lot of you guys struggle with guitar beats. So let's actually just get straight to it. All right, no wasting time on the intro. Let's get on with the guitar. So the guitar I'm gonna be using for this beat is gonna be this Sketch Nylon Guitar in Contact. It's a very cool nylon guitar which has a super unique sound to it. As for the BPM, we're just gonna bump it down to about 115. And then the scale we're gonna be working in is gonna be D minor. So even though the scale is actually D minor, the trick for this sample is going to be to start on this G instead. So we're pretty much just going to treat it like this G is almost the root note of the scale. So we're simply just going to start off with the G minor chord. So I'm just going to put a note on this G. Then you want to skip the first highlighted note and press on this A sharp. Again, skip the highlighted note and press on this D. Then before we start strumming out the notes, we actually want to go into this magnet tool and just make sure it's on third beat right here. So if you look on this highlighted note right here, you see there are three squares right there. So we're just going to strum this to the last square and this D to the second square on this second row right here. Then we're just going to shorten this and pretty much copy it over and make sure to extend these notes right here. But this time we're actually going to delete this middle note. So just extend this all the way like this. Now we're just going to paste this over and switch up some of the notes so we can pitch this down by one so it has a bit of a darker vibe. And then again, we're just going to extend these notes so the guitar sounds a bit smoother. Now let's quickly take a listen to how it sounds. Right, so the main pattern is sounding pretty nice, but now we actually have to add some top notes to this just so we can add some more movement to the guitar. So the way I like doing this is actually by copying this G one octave up. So we're gonna put it right here. Just make sure we shorten the note and then we also wanna strum it a bit from this G. So we're just gonna hold Alt on our keyboard and move it slightly to the side. Now here comes the super unique trick. So since the scale is actually D minor, but we started off in this G, we can actually use the top notes to start off with this D. So I'm going for some sort of downward motion. So we can just start on this D right here and have a downwards pattern like this. Maybe we can actually delete this note and just extend it out as well. We're just gonna copy this second part and pitch down by five. So you can really hear how the top melody adds a lot of movement to the guitar. Now, before we finish off with this, we actually just want to extend some of the notes right here, just so we can make sure the guitar sounds a bit smoother when it transitions from the chords. So the guitar pattern might look a bit complex, but as you guys see, it's actually super easy to make. Now let's quickly just add some cool effects to this so we can make it sound even better. Just starting off with some roam as usual. About 20% right there. Some RC20 as well. Just using this gentle modulation preset in Sketch Cassette 2 really gives a lot of life to the guitar. Lastly, I'm just gonna add some saturation using J37 and this EQ just to cut out some of the harsh frequencies. So there we have the main guitar pattern. Now I think we should add a counter melody to this one. So I'm actually just gonna go into my Imperial One Shot kit right here. And I actually have some crazy flute phrases that I made right here. So I'm gonna look through some of these and see if we can find a nice flute phrase that sounds nice with the guitar we just made. So I think this flute phrase number two might fit perfectly. It's actually even the same BPM. So I'm just gonna drag it in and see if it sounds nice. So I'm just gonna go in here and put this to stretch. And then we also actually want to pitch it up by two semitones. So it goes from C minor to D minor, which is the scale we're using. Yeah, so this can actually work. Let's just pitch up the flute by one octave, add some reverb and also some EQ right here.
right, so I actually did a super cool trick with the flute. Now, since the guitar actually started off in G, but the flute actually starts on D. So I actually just pitched up this first part of the flute right here, about five semitones, just so it's on the same pitch as the first part of the guitar. Then for the second part of the guitar, when it goes back to D, then we just turn off the sound shifter so it's on a normal pitch. And you can really hear how it makes a cool difference. So now we have both the guitar and the counter melody. Now we pretty much just need some ear candy. So I think I'm gonna add some textures. So again, I'm going to my Imperial One Shot Kit and going to this texture map right here. So I'm just gonna drag in this burst texture over here. Just make sure we put it on time. Reset the pitch and it should be good. So it just adds a little bit of ear candy to the sample. Now we pretty much have all the elements for the sample. But one last thing I want to switch up is actually the parts where we don't use the flute. I want to have some sort of vocal in the background when the guitar is playing. So I'm just going to open up this hooked preset in Arcade and see if we can find a nice sounding vocal pattern. Yeah, I, think, I think this can work. Pitch it up by one octave. All right, so that's pretty much the sample. Now let's get on to the drums. So as you guys probably know, since a lot of you have been loving my drum kit, all the drum sounds I'm using are obviously coming from my No Limit drum kit. So if you wanna go check that out, use the first link down below. Just have a nice simple clap pattern. We need some nice hi hats for this one. Gonna use this. So I'm just putting down some of the notes just to give a kind of different vibe to it. Oof. Yeah, I really like the reverse hat right there. Uh, I think we can actually use some rims. Let's add this 808 right here. We want to layer that 808 with the kick as well. So I'm gonna use this one right here just to make sure it slaps like crazy. Do a cool little switch up right here. I'm quickly just gonna arrange the whole thing and I'll show you guys the finished beat. So here we have the finished beat. I did a little bit of a cool thing for the intro. So I actually added a halftime and a reverb that kind of fades out in the intro. It like goes off right before the hook hits. And then we have a little bit of the halftime coming back in for the verse. So you can hear the intro sounds completely different to how the sample actually sounds. It has a lot of atmosphere, but it kind of fades out. Shut up, Marco. Marco.
Then we have the first part of the hook, just the guitar and the drums. Then the flute comes in for the second part. Then the flute starts to fade out, then the vocal comes in for the verse. Cool little drop right there. Then the half time comes in. So it just has a nice switch up right there. Then we just have the bridge with the vocals and the guitar. The texture's back. And then the hook just repeats.